I'm over here at the 3D uh, LD Center in Haiti Greenwich Street. I guess you can see me uh, over this way. Actually, I come down here. It says there's a gallery opening. My friend Spot is having it's a gallery opening tonight by a 3LD. So let's see what's going on. Uh, uh, HPV, whatever it is. Over here, editor of Make Magazine. Right. Hey. Uh, uh, yeah, you, you have better quality, this. but when you stream it, it's all the same, right? I mean, yeah, when you stream it, it's In the like, end, everything is 500 pixels wide. Yeah, so it's not really made or, This yeah. actually works pretty well for me, because yeah, I can kind of like, don't have to... It, it's true. But you know what? Um, because I have a really good screen at home, yeah. I have to actually look at the stuff while yeah. I edit it. So yeah. I spend like 20 hours on my footage. See, so, so, you know, I don't edit anything. I just so, throw them all together yeah, and no, stick I them up. No, I actually do editing. So I spend 20 hours on something. So I'll actually... Well, I want it to look as good as possible while I'm looking at it on, on, on my editing screen. Yeah. But yes, in the, in the end, everything's 500 hey, pixels wide. And in the reality is people look at it once or twice, you know? Not even, yeah. Not even, you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think it's more authentic to just kind of put it all out there. Yeah, I try. You know, I mean, like an artist, I just kind of like say, okay, if I, if I, if I did this, this means it must have been important. Yeah. And like, I know I should edit some things, but I kind of just kind of like say, no, yeah. I don't even have the tools to really do a good job of it. So why even try? Because if I really cared, I would. So the fact that I don't means I don't care. Yeah, I if I did, I, I would care. I have two modes. One, I don't care, and I just put it up. The other one is I care too much, and I pour over for hours and days right, and weeks right. and months. And, you know, right. there, there's, a, there's a little Stanley Lee Kubrick in all of us, I think. And, yeah. Hey, well, he, his movies are hard to take, don't you think, yeah. sometimes? They're kind of slow. They, they are. Um, and he was uh, famous for uh, taking thousands of hours of footage to get yeah. the yeah. one minute. One minute. Yeah. And some people are obsessive. I would say that's a very about So are you sure. saying to me that military.com can really find Make Magazine would be a good place for them to advertise? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, not only do we have a ton of people in the military who read Make, but I correspond with people in the military all the time. They okay. buy our kits. They need to go on missions, so they buy USB chargers so they can charge their iPods because they're out in the desert for like a week or at a time. Right, 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 right. And uh, I've probably corresponded with over a thousand people in the military in the last year. And really? Make, make is very DIY. It's like do, do what you uh, use the things that you have around you. And the military is very like, oh crap, like what are we going to do? We have to like make do with what we have. Um, these people are uh, in different areas of the world. They're needing to adapt to all sorts of different things. And what they need is the skills to take whatever right. they have available right. and do something with. So Make has that. The Make blog is one of the... It, it, I hear from sergeants and generals all the time. I missed you guys at Internet Week. I should have gone to your thing instead yeah, we, of we the Dig thing. Fair, yeah. Man, was that a mistake going to the Dig thing? That was some mistake. I went to the Dig party um, yeah. and it was fun. But, uh, but you probably got in. I had to wait on live. Yeah, I, I, like, I got in. I got lucky. But uh, I think Make is one of those weird entities that if you're in the military, yeah. Make is, it, it, it's almost probably standard issue. Would you say that you're an influencer? I mean, now, like, for example, military.com, does mo a lot of its income is based on selling leads, creating leads and selling leads. Selling what? It, it's more about creating leads. Sure. So sure. do you feel that Make is a good place to go and find people that would be potential leads? Yeah, here's why. Um, as far as leads for recruitment, you mean? Or yeah. for, well, for whatever they... Uh, okay. Whatever. One of the things that I've seen is um, engineers are the most valuable thing in the military. You have... there's the tech, Military is technology. Right. And if you're reading Make, you're either doing something with engineering, you're going to be an engineer, or you were an engineer. So... It's, yeah, I, I met with someone last week who's the biggest fan of Make, and all they do in the military is work on uh, anti-GPS jamming technologies, and everyone there reads Make. One of the things that I'm using yeah. waiting in 6 to see the... We're trying to find who are the influentials. I bet Make will come up as one of the sure. influentials. Yeah, and you know what? The one thing about the military is um, they're always prepared for the hacks and the things that people aren't supposed to be doing in technology, like GPS jamming is this is an article I wrote, and... They remake because we write about GPS jamming all the time. You can build a GPS jammer with low-cost parts. 
Um, it, this isn't something that matters in the U.S., but around the world, like if you're building GPS jammers, you're probably not up to good things. Right, in the right. U.S., it's like an art project. That's right, because I'm going to have Brianna look at this. Uh, yeah. You know, because I, I was just thinking that it's a, we're trying to figure out who are the influencers. I would say that the, pe the people for the who conversation, like where should we be focusing on? Where sure. should we be? Because one of the things I'm doing is measuring social media, like. Do we get more leads because people come from blogs versus traditional places? Do we? We are in a position of almost being able to do that. And what we would use something like Bud Logic to do is to say, well, who are the people that are having these conversations? And do we outreach them? And if we outreach them, are we going to get a better result than if we advertise and we get help elsewhere? I think we're, that's the direction we're moving in. I'll be speaking about that at UCS. So anyways, but we're going to try to show real results. Because yeah. right? that's what I pitched Kevin Ryan on. I said, I'm going to actually, and then so he created a panel for him, which okay. I'm going to create, you know, now. So we're going to present a real study. So we're actually creating a real study. Or, you know, we're actually getting real data. Okay. Okay. You know, so anyway, real I'm rambling. Well, we tried to because.